okay guys uh, just gonna give you a little bit of information about uh, what I'd like you to do now you may have seen it on um, uh, what's it called show my homework yes I am doing this live so hopefully I don't mess up and uh, say anything I shouldn't I might stumble over my words a bit but that's normally what I do in lessons anyway isn't it right just to emphasize the importance that you do do something at home it's really really important oh isn't that a cute baby um i didn't look like that i can assure you ever uh but anyway going back to what i'd like you to do is really really important you do work at home because when you come back you'll be in year 11 and the problem is with that you'd have missed a great big huge chunk of the course and that's the same with every subject of course and to be able to catch up with that you'd have to do absolutely shed loads of work in your own time after school uh, you'd just be shattered you need to do it now now you've got plenty of time you can do that so we're working through these booklets you may be familiar with them now I want all of your 10 that's uh, Mr Poulton's classes as well we'll be doing this it says year 9 on there disregard that it's year 10 work uh, life and death issues um, seems a bit off at the moment but you've got to learn it and uh, this is a unit that either you haven't started yet in year 10 or you're only doing one lesson a week because you're sharing teachers so that's why we're going to do it now some of it you if you've done any of it doesn't matter get into this booklet now you don't need uh, to print it off if you have no access to a printer just get some lined paper keep it together in a folder a file have the headings so here we go overview issues of life and death okay and you can be writing in your book so obviously you can use these for revision now the reason I'm putting on a film and showing you what to do because not everyone has PowerPoint so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna show you what PowerPoints link up with uh, whatever lesson I want you to do so it's just the first two lessons in the booklet uh, so that's the overview and I can't remember what the next one is but we'll come to that okay so what you've got you've got lots of folders so here's the introduction and I just want you to do these first two lessons now that should take you about three hours of work so that is in line with what you get now you could probably if you work hard and fast uh, you need the notes make sure they're detailed because if you don't if you can print off a booklet that's great but there's little exercises to do and that and things for you to do uh, so make sure uh, if you can't print off the booklet you're writing some notes down on paper hopefully you got your books but a lot of you didn't take them uh, you either weren't in or it was just it was just such a mess at the end of term so if you haven't got your book just make sure uh, actually I'm just going to check the volumes on that there we go it is uh, just make sure that you write in detail into your books especially key terminology religious beliefs and practices uh, quotes references from sacred texts or religious people of authority e.g. the Pope yeah and uh, Archbishop of Canterbury and important people as well as religious texts so just make sure you've got plenty of notes so I'll open up the PowerPoint so it's an introduction to the topic now if you look at it uh, I won't put it on expanded view uh, you can go through and each lesson gives you the objectives what we expect you to do uh, now the first one and I've put it on show my homework has a reading exercise this is on a4 size so it will be bigger than that uh, and I want you to make sure you read through it and uh, you and that is on show my homework separately to the booklet by the way uh, let me show you uh, so there we go life and death intro multi-choice question so you just read that uh, you go through it highlighting make sure you read it thoroughly before you don't try to get the questions as you go at the start or try to have a guess read the text it really helps in store uh, that knowledge uh, so that you can get your knowledge uh, up to up together and by the time you're doing your exams hopefully uh, you'll be really good at it but you won't be if you don't do the work at home so reading through the text first and this is a starter and then you can either highlight or tick whatever you want to do or if you're writing the answers down you obviously just write down the correct answer but you're gonna have to write down the question and the answer obviously because uh, when you come to revise you won't have a clue what it means so make sure if you're writing in paper that you write down the full question and your answer don't just write down one a that won't mean anything to you when you revise uh, which of these religions believes in reincarnation wow ah that's a tricky question it's not a tricky question if you read actually 
Uh, so in fact I'll tell you it's all of the above there you go there's your first one done uh, so reduce that and then you go back to your PowerPoint as I over here uh, you do your multiple choice questions and then uh, you you can count swap it obviously they give you instructions for in the class here so you can either get uh, someone to mark them don't go on to the next pages because the next pages give you the answers on the PowerPoint try and have a go uh, without revealing the answers on the PowerPoint so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through the answers now so you can self mark these and let's put it onto full view uh, so what you could do is pause the video right now have a go at the multiple poor choice quiz do that now okay I assume you pause the video and you're coming back to uh, mark it now so what you need to do is be honest on this don't look through the answers the idea of learning is you you've got to reinforce your learning by reading through things going over them writing them down and that helps you install uh, knowledge and when you reflect back on it say in a year's time when you're doing your exams hopefully because you would have gone back over it again uh, it will be in your uh, brain and in your mind and your memory and you'll be able to put the answers up really quickly because obviously when you do an exam they're under time conditions and you would you won't get away with uh, just doing a little bit of revision but if you keep reinstalling that knowledge it comes so here we go the answers number one all of the above as I said number two which of the following is not an Abrahamic religion now if you look through the uh, text Abraham it means they their founder the person they all stem from and can trace uh, their ancestry back from there's three of these on there and it's uh, that uh, which are that's Islam Christianity and Judaism but Buddhism is not that not that as you can see we're doing this live and I just pulled out the plug so hopefully you weren't uh, blank for too long and I pulled out the plug for the earphones so I couldn't hear anything I was saying I don't know if you heard anything there anyway going on to number three uh, which of these statements about humanism is not true uh, and the one that's not true remember they believe those great wisdom to be found in holy books where well, they're atheists not all atheists are humanists uh, what I do with humanism in the before we do the exam in the textbook there are 25 entries of humanism in the textbook and what I've done is I've just copied and pasted and put it on an A4 sheet that's what they fit on and there's not a lot to know but you do need to know what humanism is okay number four what once you find at a humanist uh, funeral now uh, I think it's pretty obvious now if they're atheists it's obvious it's prayers okay number five which of these terms is closest to the word euthanasia and that's it assisted suicide uh, it comes from the Greek word you uh, and phantos phantos is the god of death and it means gentle death okay but it's an assisted suicide number six who tends to be in favor of human <laughs> uh, euthanasia well hopefully no one uh, but um, humanism isn't against it as such uh, they would believe it's the last uh, choice the last thing you would do but they would certainly they're more they tend to be in favor of it more than religious people do religious people what you've got to remember is they believe in something called the sanctity of life it doesn't mean if you're a christian or a muslim or another religion you don't agree with it uh, but there are religious teachings strictly against which are against it for example um uh, do not kill in the Ten Commandments is the easiest one to remember. Okay, number seven, where is euthanasia illegal? A few countries, and I'll give you an example. Switzerland, there's a clinic you can go to called Dignitas. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much. That's part of the lessons in this booklet. Uh, but Dignitas is in Switzerland. There's somewhere in The Hague in Holland and a couple of states in Australia. Okay, number eight, a liberalist sees religious stories as parables or stories with a meaning. So liberalist means uh, they've got more modern views, they've adapted the teachings to modern times, and um, therefore um, they believe it's mo they're not fact, they're not religious or historical fact, but they have deep meanings which we can learn from and live our lives by. Number nine, when it comes to the views of religious believers, there is a great variation in how stories are interpreted by believers. It depends. You know, there's literalist views. You believe literally everything uh, 
in the Bible is literally too true. It's a word of God and sometimes called fundamentalist. Then you've got the more liberal, okay, uh, non-literalist views where it needs more interpretation. Number 10, which of the following is a scientific theory about uh, creation, okay, A and B. Okay, the Big Bang Theory and evolution. Remember, they are theories, not proved. I think we could probably prove evolution definitely. Big Bang's a bit trickier, uh, but they're pretty certain on that. And I think even most religious believers would believe in the Big Bang. The difference is a religious believer might believe God was the first cause. Okay, who might object uh, most? to scientific explanations of creation and if you listened to me earlier that's a literalist which of these statements is most correct uh, d it's possible to believe in science and religion at the same time many scientists are still religious uh, okay so on page three there are two words life and death and all i want you to do for that is to brainstorm everything you can think about life and death so for example uh death afterlife life um, uh, what quality of life there's lots of things you could put down I'll give you a couple of minutes pause the video here Okay, so life. When does life start? What's the purpose of life? Why are we here? How should we live our lives? What are our responsibilities in life? How did the universe begin? Uh, did humans evolve? And do humans have souls? So those are some of the things you might have put around life. So what I think you should do now is pause the video clip and then uh, get uh, some more answers around that you may not have thought of when you were trying to put your own knowledge down so just put down some things from this pause the video on, on this slide and write a few up away you go okay i assume you're back with us so what i'd like you to do now uh, is go on to the second word so you could have put what happens after we die is there an afterlife or reincarnation uh, don't forget there are uh, various uh, religions who believe in reincarnation they tend to be the eastern religions such as hinduism and buddhism is it ever morally right to end life it doesn't tend to be the eastern religions it is the eastern religions is it ever morally right to end life so that links into things like euthanasia is abortion moral moral means right and wrong good right uh, what about euthanasia you know um, things to do questions around euthanasia is it mo ever morally right uh, the death penalty the death penalty uh, you know it's not um, always linked to this unit but you can put it in as some of your answers about how precious life is sometimes maybe a serial killer's uh, life is not as important as a person who lives a good life uh, is there anything worse than death uh, okay so we're moving on so after you've done those I'm going to just pause it there so you pause write down a few of these and then come back to the video okay I assume you're done now it's a good job I pause there because the guy upstairs I think he's got the tumble dryer it sounds like uh, a b52 about to take off I think he needs to look at that belt it might be coming a bit loose or something uh, the bearings that's what it is isn't it? the bearings okay so life and death the next module is issues of life and death what things you might think you're learning about now if you look at your booklet it's got a page like that and you may have already done this some of you those of you who haven't all I want you to do is to go through the topics now obviously you've got it in much bigger in the booklet I'll show you where it is in the booklet if I can get it up so in the booklet if I go down there you go uh, and you have it on A4 obviously I can zoom it you can zoom it in on the screen so uh, what we got on here is the titles of the areas of study and some of the things that you'll be studying you need to know the knowledge the specific content uh, so from Islamic perspective and a Christian perspective you can do any religion but you must do Christian and another faith now we choose to do Islam uh, because it ties in with another paper we do Islam and it makes it uh, and you also do at a basic level Islam in year eight so hopefully there's things that 
go through and you should be able to have a little bit of knowledge already and it stands you better instead of getting a better grade on your exam so you could color code these you could uh you know red amber green uh, the green ones you thoroughly uh, you know thoroughly or you can just put a tick next to the ones you uh, know something about uh, maybe an equals if you know some of it maybe a minus if you don't know anything you choose your code and what you're going to do same with the key concepts now remember these are two mark questions okay they're two mark questions and then there's some examples of questions you could get in the assessment why don't you tick the ones you think you will uh, so it's like a subject audit let's just tick the ones that you think you're pretty positive that you could get some good answers and you can you've got some good knowledge it may well be because you're going back to uh, may well be when you do other units of study when you're going back to year nine you forget a lot of it but this is fresh in the mind so you're not going to know a lot of this at the moment but you might know certain words like sanctity of life uh, what information did you already know from above so you might have known something about evolution euthanasia quality of life uh what was new to me there's probably quite a lot new to you there okay so then you've got your introduction to life and death now if you look at the powerpoint it uh, has um, some things that go along with a booklet you just follow it through and these are some of the topics that you'll be doing which are in that audit I just showed you okay so uh, eager well let's hope you're all eager shall we uh, so uh, what you're gonna do uh, in the booklet you read pages three to four uh, Mm, shall we your table is going to well you see the thing is you're gonna to have to write your own responses down you're at home learning on your own so if you strongly agree with any statements if you strongly disagree uh, so do you strongly agree strongly disagree uh, okay so let's have a look at this God created the universe do you strongly agree with that disagree so you write your opinion down creation story and, and there's place in your booklet to do this if I show you where it is now I think what we'll do oh let's see quiz multiple choice quiz even and I think that there's your booklet so if you go down there's your key terminology those two mark questions uh, read the overview there's some key words you might want to highlight those there's another there karma these are those questions and on the next page there's these statements okay uh, and then you just fill in a statement you agree with most, a statement you agree with least, and give some reasons why. There's some success criteria. And then the next bit of uh, the introduction goes into about humanists. Now, I think you really just need to have a good read through that and uh, highlight any key things and then have a go at filling in your booklet. Okay, so I think that's as far as we go to page six on the first two lessons. Excuse me, just going to cough. That's done. Um, and uh, I just want you to go through using, uh, and there's some video clips you can go and have a look at. So Sandy Totstead, that's her name, isn't it? Uh, I probably got the spelling wrong, uh, the pronunciation wrong, however. Uh, but just go through with a PowerPoint linked to your lessons. And all you do go through to is complete page six. Uh, now you can go on to the next one I've put it on there for you but that's where I'm gonna end this video okay don't forget the, let's see if I can get on the Instagram uh, go and join Instagram if you haven't already because I will be putting more things up on Instagram so there is the Instagram page okay I've uh, Put, I will put a link on show my homework if I haven't already I can't remember if I have or not uh, there's video clips at the moment it's all about Islam but I will be putting more things on that are relevant to you over the next couple of weeks. So keep looking out for that. Uh, and the YouTube channel. Let's see if I can get it. I might have to change channels. So uh, What I will do for the YouTube channel. Uh, I will probably put a link. Because uh, if I'm showing you my screen. You're going to see all the passwords. And you'll be able to put things on there. Which we don't want you to go. Because some of you might be tempted to do something naughty. And we wouldn't want that. No you're already good. I'm sure you wouldn't. Pit for religious studies. I think it's called. Uh, this, I don't know. Ah there we go. It's that one there. 
and you can subscribe to it there it is i put a video clip that's for year eights on hajj and then that's also relevant to you in year 11 so if you want to go and have a little look at that by all means do so you've got the youtube channel uh go and subscribe to that click the notifications then you'll be updated when a new video uh, like ones I'm putting on there at the moment when they go up so go and have a look at that as well so you've got YouTube Instagram these lessons these video clips and hopefully you'll be working through the booklet and that will help you uh, be ready for September and ready for study in year 11 bye for now